The past 24 hours have seen quite a battle at the state capitol, but today, agreement on a bill aimed at putting an end to cyberbullying. Today, the House passed David's Law. KVU political reporter Ashley Godot is live at the capitol, and Ashley, this bill brought up a lot of emotions in the representatives. You know, Quinta, that's because some members have suffered the loss of a child, a pain they wish on no parent. So for them, passing this bill was personal. Senate Bill 179 is known as David's Law, named after David Mullock, a 16-year-old who committed suicide after months of relentless cyberbullying. The bill makes cyberbullying that leads to injury or suicide of a minor a misdemeanor. Courts can reveal who the bullies are, and public schools have to report the bullying and intervene. Before the final vote, representatives talked about other victims. And within the last six months, We've had two young people take their lives as a result of the fact that someone else saw it necessary to make themselves feel powerful by demeaning, demoralizing, driving someone to the brink of extinction. Young people are just hurting each other. The House made a few changes to the original bill, so it's headed back to the Senate for consideration. We should also note the House was set to vote on 121 local and consent bills today, but members of the self-named Freedom Caucus, made up of conservative and Tea Party Republicans, killed the entire calendar. You can see in this tweet from Texas Tribune reporter Morgan Smith, they got enough signatures to have all of the bills withdrawn. Now, this is the last day for the House to vote on their consent bill. So, for the most part, those bills are dead. Live at the Capitol, Ashley Good OKVU News. Thank you, Ashley.